looky look at all the pilchards they're all going around mecca right there nice ones too well that'll help our trip uh, instead of paddling and make a mess i'm just gonna walk up here drop anchor get up ahead of them and just throw the net on them here are some small ones but i want them a little bit bigger The water's getting really thin, so I'm going to run down here since nobody's fishing the bridge on this side. See what's down in here. I want to get to some of the cuts way up above there. A little tight, you can see everything. Here's one of the channels, cuts that go through here. So I want to get up current of it. All right, finally anchored up here. This is one of the cuts that's going through, surrounded by the flats. So it's about the only source of kind of deep water. Uh, tide is still dropping. It's still ripping current there. So I'm just on this edge where it goes from the flats and then dumps into the channel. Um, I've got all the glass minnows that I Christmas tree got stuck in the net. I'll start shaking those out. I've got some pilchards in here that I could start throwing out as well, just to start chumming things up and then uh, see what shows up. I've got a weighted circle hook because of the uh, amount of current here. Um, it's middle of well, two or three o'clock, so it's not the best time. It's better around evening time when those uh, tarpon, snook, redfish start coming out, snappers. But uh, I think if I chum here, uh, that'll bring out anything in this little pothole here. Although I did run up and down this thing about three times trying to get the anchor set, but we'll see. I see some big tails right there. Yeah, that's a tarp in there. <laughs> I think we're gonna be good. But I'm gonna get rid of these. Oh, sh no, 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 no. Oh, God, no. That's very important to my life. Oh, God. Dang it. All right, I'm going after that thing. Man, I am rusty. This is my fishing zone and I've motored up it about five times already. But I think we're settled now. I got my bucket back. So let me start doing a little bit of chumming, give them some time to settle down. God, I just ruined this spot. But let's see what we can do. See something in there. I don't know if that's a kuda or a tarpon. That's a kuda. So they're getting that scent already. I'm just shaking out these glass minnows. Both because I need it clean anyways and two to kind of bring everything in that slot out to me. Oh, that's a tarpon there. Yep, that's a tarpon. Get him happy and used to all the stuff going on. Ah, oh, these Christmas tree ones suck. But it's okay, I'll give them time to get used to me and all the free, free hors d'oeuvres coming in its way. So the only way to get these out of the net 
pinch their heads off and then they'll fall through the net on the other side just a pain I should have waited until I was sure I just got pockets of uh, big pilchards oh look at all of them <laughs> there's at least four of them see if they'll go after the silver there my buddies are here yeah they're just stacking up just waiting for them nice okay just got another headless batch there so I'm gonna shake them off it leaves a nice little trail of shiny goodness there oh there they are right there hello if you chum they will come <laughs> they're all yay everything is great today all right got a live pilchard here weighted circle hook oh it's going to be a dead pilchard can't get the hook through uh, this should be pretty quick and easy oh no no he's gonna eat it right there look at that smelling it look at it it's swimming you guys gonna be that picky oh no he ate it <laughs> all right this reel is all jacked up they're being all sensitive about their bites all right there he is just swimming in the current oh oh i got it oh he spit it out oh the other one oh they looked at it didn't want it he did look at him he's just like hmm if i analyze every scale i could tell if this is a good one or not i don't think it's real mr smart guy that yeah, that's a perfectly live oh ate it there he goes he's got it he doesn't know he's really hooked he's just irritated there he goes that might just ruin our fun whoa oh he's in the current Please him along. <laughs> hey, 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 buddy. Come on, give a honk. Come on. Duck, duck, goose. Water's dropping. got grass on them you don't like that grass oh there's his buddies they're back greedy Steve don't do it greedy Steve I put the fly out if I had a fly on there. Get that weed off. There it goes. Ah, oh, come on. I'm your friend. Not my fault. Oh, nice jump. Now yeah, he's tired. We've got a little bit of rainbow color to his belly. All right, you done? Yeah, nice size one. <sighs> Weighted circle hook. That's what we like to see. 
perfectly in the corner of the mouth there. My buddy's out there. Oh, oh no! Oh, I broke it off. Oh wells. Yeah. Normally I would have spooked everything away, but these guys are still around because I've been throwing a few at a time just to keep them uh, hanging around. They're probably going to be very wary. See, like he wouldn't take it. They'll wait till it gets way far back there before they uh, grab it. So we'll have to adjust for that. All right, let's throw a few more chunkers out there. Keep them occupied. Let's see if we can find a, a nice one here to be our friend, our volunteer. This one's a still alive, nice chunk size. yet oh there he is all right let's see if we can get these guys interested in them oh he like ran yeah they're kind of wary he saw that bait and he said i am out of here coming back for it Uh, he just eyeballed it, didn't go for it. Oh, looking at it. Oh, he's bumped in it. He's a smart guy. Oh, he touched it. Oh, he ate it. I think he ate it. Not so smart. Hehehe. <laughs> You're not so smart. Ugh. Jump, jump, jump. Jump, jump, jump. Ugh. Jump, jump, jump. Jump, jump. There he goes. Get my money's worth. All right, I'm done with you. He's still green, though. I'm gonna make you work. Don't jump. Now jump, 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 jump. There he goes. Oh, oh. I think, uh, where do I have him hooked at? Oh, right at the top of the mouth. Perfect. Perfect. Whoa, whoa. Oh no, 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 no. Oh, golly. Get out. And broke that one too. But he left me a prize. Oh, I see two of them. There you go. I am. The match. There it goes. Ooh, it does. See through. So that ring there is what you basically see there. <laughs> That's the front. Nice. I saw another one. Oh, there's a couple of them. Ugh. Cool. Got some scales. got some good tarpon footage so i think we're good there um i stopped feeding those tarpon they took off i think uh they're skedaddling because the water is getting really low uh we have a negative 0.3 tide today so it's got to be some sort of uh full moon alignment um zero zero is still three or four inches of land sticking above so it's going to get really uh, isolate today there's gonna be hardly any water anywhere around here so i got to be careful about that i was going to make the run to the uh outside but now that i caught those tarpon in here i don't feel like it so much i think i'm just going to hang around here i might go to the other side the atlantic side and just dilly bop around there a bit uh maybe see if some uh, bonefish permit show up or something like that but uh yeah good to go still got a little bit of uh pilchards left so uh we could always use those as well so let's go check it out and there goes my damn permit right there come back 
Oh, I got the bucktail. Oh, he's dropping anchor. I didn't even notice him. Dang it. All right. Keep an eye out for those guys. I got the all about the bait, my custom bucktail jig. And then I think I'll rig up uh, one of the esky shrimp as well. Ah, dang it. All right, I'm here on the Atlantic size. I'm all set up in this kind of sand patch out here. While I was anchoring, I scared off a, a permit that took out that way. So I know those are around. Uh, water's still going out and dropping. And then uh, eventually it'll slow down and reverse. So this will still be the best spot on either section. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I've got the esky shrimp on one there with a the 1 8 ounce uh, fish head jig head. And then I've got my bucktail uh, jig there, the custom made one I made. Uh, if I see a bigger permit, I'll throw the, uh, the bucktail, smaller bonefish, smaller permit, I'll throw the shrimp. And then even though I'm out here, I think I'm still going to chum with my uh, glass minnows and see if I can maybe get some sharks and rays to start showing up because a lot of time the, uh, the bonefish will follow those in because they, they basically just, oh, right there below me. What are those? No way those are bonefish. Oh, kudas. Don't eat my shrimp. Oh, I was going to be like, yeah, winner. See that? Those are the kudas. They could smell the, uh, glass minnows and pilchards juices coming off of my kayak but that's okay action breeds action uh, as you say the the rays and the sharks will churn up the bottom as they're going around and then uh, the bonefish will uh, follow those and just kind of nibble at whatever pops up and they scare up so let's get to some chumming Ooh, there's a big tarp in there oh Oh, 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 he got it. Oh, I broke it. Son of a, golly, that's my big tarpon on my bucktail. God, what happened there? Well, that's big problem there. Got wrapped around my reel. Oh, it must have locked it up. Oh, golly, you gotta be joking me that dude was on a feeding mission I had him where'd it break my knot came undone oh lord I suck oh that was my big tarpon Oh my gosh, you hate my handmade bucktail. Oh, that was perfect. That loser. Oh man, that was heartbreaking. Catching the big tarpon on the flats in the middle of July. Nobody's fly fishing for me. Those guys gave up last month on it because the main migration's gone, but they'll still come through here, especially since I'm right on the edge of the seven mile bridge. Uh, this is kind of a migration area to get through the channel, to get to the Gulf through this channel. So they're still here, but you just got to make sure you learn how to tie a knot and how to reel. Oh, look at that, it's still messed up. What the heck? How did Oh golly, what is that? I better cast it. This is my first day ever fishing, so that's why all these problems. Yeah, I got a line wrapped around the spool there. Oh, and there it goes. That's how you screw things up. Oh, just shoot me. Look at this big boy coming up. That's not a tarpon though. I think that's just a big lemon shark. Let's see if I can keep him around here. Ooh, he's a definitely a nice size one there. 
Oh, he smells it. Oh, don't. Uh oh, oh, he's in like rage mode. I'm gonna rage on you, kayak. No fish. I wanted to see if uh, anything was swimming with him. Apparently not, because he's in a rage mode. Does the permit swim? Swam right across there. I didn't even see him until he was over there. Jeez. Louise, come on. It just do 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 and I didn't see him until right about there. Golly, came out from behind me. Three more permit right across there. What the heck? I gotta adjust here. Grr. There's a shark right there. So they're coming up the channel, following that edge there. I think there's three or four permit right there. Yep, there's four of them. I don't think I could reach that far. Right across there. Oh. If I can head him off. Oh, see, right, they went right over that hump there. See him flashing? I got him rolling there. Oh, where'd he go? Oh, he's looking right at me. Oh, looking at it. Oh, that spooked them. They saw me. Right when I was leaving. Nice, though. And I got my shot, clean shot. Now I understand their pattern, what they're doing, and what I need to do. Ha ha ha! Well, I think I've got the permit track established here. Uh, basically, this is my uh, tarpon spot, big tarpon spot, because uh, the channel flows under the bridge. It splits off, but one of the sides comes over here, fairly deep channel, and then it blows out into the uh, flats there. Um, and that's where I would see those uh, tarpon schools getting bunched up in here because they run up to the edge and then they'll just hang out in the deeper water. But all those permit we're doing is they're coming right along this edge. The other side is the softer edge, just more crumbly. It's just uh, a lot less of an angle. Um, so they're following this deep cut edge right here where it drops off about five foot. It follows that edge and then going right up this right hand side out where I was set up was over there to the left where there was more flats there, but that's not the channel that they're following. They're following over here. So I saw about three different schools going that direction right along this same path here. So I moved over. What threw me off is as the tide is dropping on the inside, I thought those fish would have been out. And then as the, the water is starting to rise like it is now, I thought they would be coming back in, but those fish were going out still. So. That was a bit weird. But that last batch that I ran into, I picked up and started coming this way. I ran into them right over there and they were coming back the, the direction I expected them to. So that is it. The basic premise is just sit here like this, get some live crabs and just watch for those schools to swim by and just pitch a, uh, a live crab out in front of it. So it just kind of swims down in front of them or go up uh, an ambush on that flats over there. So easy enough. So I think I got a nice spot for them.